Ow. Uh. Ow. Come on, calm down. Calm down. Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon and Basil did a spot of showboating. Nice to have met an adventurer, you know, you, I see you riding all the gear all the time in your shorts there, Simon. Typical, like, local attire. That's right, that's right, so everyone can uh, admire my buns and my shorts. Yes. <laughs> all right. Of course, now with the video, everyone knows that you're going commando. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better not get my front side. <laughs> Over in the woods, there is, it's not a hunter, but it's a gatherer. <laughs> what type of berry? Young berry. Dingle Young, berry. It's a dingleberry. <laughs> the berry of Moo. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Let's find some more. You know, you see these little like waterfalls and little holes with water all over the place. But when you've been riding, it's nice to just take a dip. But this one's going to be cold because this is coming off Maru, nice and cold from up high. So that's going to be interesting. Cold. Nice. I bet you feel refreshed after a dip in there, Lyndon. It appears that somebody's left some underpants on Basil Bag. Do these belong to you? They do. <laughs> Thanks, Lyndon. <laughs> Can we put them here, please? Nice. The clouds and the villages beneath. Beautiful. So just picking up some plastic that I found up here on the hillside. Hate to see it just lying around. What a view. Whoa, steady on. Looks like this guy's training for the World Rally Championships. Lyndon and Basil are now making their way towards Lake Natron. So we're just in this um, volcanic area heading towards Lake Natron. See what we find there, but it's a very sulfuric lake. Lake Natron is a soda lake which is rich in minerals, situated in North Tanzania at the border with Kenya. Hundreds of thousands of lesser flamingos breed here every year. Along with the flamingos, you'll also find many other types of wildlife here. Huge cactus trees. What an amazing trail. Not really much of it left. Lots of washouts, lots of rocks. The odd local person here and there, striding down the side of Lake Natron. Big group of uh, zebra, zebra, right in front of me. Woohoo! There's the mama giraffe by the look of it. 
Bronson! Yes! Bloody puncture again, I tell you. And it's thundering in the distance, we're gonna get piss wet through. Puncture repaired, it's time to get back on the trail, but Lyndon is unaware what lies ahead for him. Well, that's not easy to watch. Poor Lyndon. I hope he hasn't hurt himself too bad here. Lyndon employs me to edit his show Races to Places, but I've also got a good friendship with him, and it really is hard to watch a scene like this. I hope he hasn't hurt himself too bad. Come on, calm down. Calm down. Ah, oh, big crash. Ah. Yeah. Ow. That's gonna hurt for a while. Well, it's not been the best day for Lyndon and Basil, but at least you'll soon be en route back to Arusha to recover. Hopefully these injuries aren't gonna to be too bad. One, two, three! Ah. Ah. Again! Ah. One, two, three! Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't want to look too closely at that. Proper swollen. Yay, 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 yay. Thankful that I'm <laughs> conscious and able to take this uh, video, but uh, yikes. Banged my wrist up really bad. Coming down this track, nice well graded track, and uh, yeah, I got an instant front flat tyre, and I just felt the understeer one way, and then the other way. Couldn't hold it. I tried so. I tried everything. I had to scrub speed. Um, look, tyres completely flat. Uh, bike's properly banged up. Look at that. Yeesh. Smashed. This is my only. My Yeah. My only came over to help. Thank you, my only. He's a good guy. Came to make see if I was okay. He saw me in the distance. This is the thing when you ride on your own. Anything like this can happen anytime. I'm just thankful that I'm here and talking to you. It's rung my bell for sure. Big one. Big, big one. Yeah, I had a crash and a big one. 
I could probably fix my front flat. I got a front flat. I could probably fix it, but my wrist is pretty bad. Like the pain is pretty bad. Um, and I'm only like 100 kilometers from Arusha. Uh, and I have a friend called Simon in Arusha, so um, this is why uh, why we carry uh, satellite messengers in remote locations for times like this. Uh, I've never had to call on anybody on races to places. This is the first time uh, for a medical injury anyway. Uh, the only other time was when I broke the bike in Cape Town, if you remember back then, but uh, this feels more stupid because it was me that crashed, but it's kind of, uh, I tried to avoid it, I tried to hold on to it, but nah, I slowed down as much as possible, but it was gone. I'm sorry, Basil. I bashed you up again. These are the rangers doing an awesome job of tying my bike on this back of this truck. To be honest, I'm hurting so much, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just like, whoa. Well, here we are, in the pickup, <laughs> on the way back to Arusha. Um, I'm a little bit sore to say the least uh, and we're on the horribly rough road because of course I chose to go on the nice off the beaten pack path route so we're just barreling down this uh, road here. Simon's uh, driving, all good Simon, all good Lyndon and uh, John the helper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up this morning, um, but I'm super sore. <laughs> uh, if you can see, the hand is like completely swollen, bruised, knee is bad, super bummed. Um, but it happens, we're gonna stay positive and we're gonna get through it and finish this thing. Just in the x-ray room. I'm gonna get the machine going in a minute. Make sure there's nothing broken. Hope not. So foot, knee and hand. That's what we're getting checked out. Now these are some serious hailstones. So I'm back from the hospital here in Arusha and uh, I've got my x-rays here and thankfully nothing's broken. Um, it's very difficult to see soft tissue damage. My hand's extremely sore. I tried to move the bike and I can't move the bike. My hand's so sore uh, and my knee feels really unstable. So I'm a bit worried that there's some tissue damage in my knee. Um, but uh, we're going to have to wait and see for that because I can't have an MRI scan done here. Uh, so I'm just figuring out what to do with that. Uh, but I'm thankful that nothing's broken. It's like, whoa, what's that? You see its babies here, don't yeah. you? There you go. Hello, fella. <laughs> it's really weird looking. So we're just in the taxi, uh, Moses, my friend here, mm -hmm. just come to pick me up mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to, he's taking me to a very well known physio here in Arusha uh, where they're going to take a look at my knee and my hand and uh, see if we can kind of figure out how long it is before I'm back on the bike. Right That's there. okay. That's okay. That's bad, more bad, to the bad, joint. Bad, bad, yeah, bad. but that is more to the joint again. Yeah. yeah. 
Next time on Races to Places, it's more wildlife. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching Races to Places. Please check out the link to my Patreon page below where you can find special features and pre-released episodes of Races to Places. I look forward to your messages and comments on there.